Welcome back, I'm Danny the Dinosaur Drawer, and today I'm going to show you all how to draw the level 40 Rajastega from Jurassic World the game. So yeah, let's get started. The Rajastega is the um, hybrid between Rajasaurus and Ichthyostega, so it's got features combined from both of them. So I'm going to start off by um, putting in the head and have, just giving our dinosaur a little bit of outline. So that's going to be the top part of the head. It's going to have its jaw open and it's going to be facing toward the left. It's got that piece of decoration on its head, the crest that comes from the ichthyostega. So most of the features on the dinosaur come from the Rajasaurus, except for the, the head and the um, little bit sail it has that goes on its neck and back and part of the tail. I'm sure you all are very familiar with it by now since it's one of the latest updates. So we'll put in these two arms. It's got three claws and its arms are quite short. It's also one of the fattest of the carnivores because Rajasaurus is quite heavy. So put in the thigh. It's just a quick outline. It's going to have this leg bent. tail goes off into the distance. So Rajastega has very little spikes on it compared to like Ostoposaurus or um, uh, Indominus Rex, Sopranotitan. Sopranotitan has like the most spikes of any of the carnivores. So yeah, that looks like a decent outline for now. Now I will begin refining it a bit more with our pencil. It doesn't have much of an eye ridge and it's got more of a soft face because it's, it's clearly the face of Ichthyostega. So you guys have given me a lot of requests. Um, I've written them all down. and. I just want to let you guys know I will do them, just it might take a while. Like some will be in the next week, others will take probably a few months before I get to them. So I already have like a list of 20 different dinosaurs <laughs> from the game that you guys want me to draw, which is great, but just I can't get to them all at the same time. So there's the eye, it's got quite a simple face few stripes. We'll color them in later. Or not color them in, but shade them in. Tiny nose. Then it's got this magnificent crest decoration type thing. So one of you suggested me join this um, art site called Deviant Art, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. So I joined it today. Um, I forgot who who suggested it to me, but um, if you're watching this, I joined it. So, <laughs> and my username, I think, is if you want to look me up on it, um, is Danny Dino Draw, something like that. I haven't put really any pictures up yet, but I might post a few of my pieces of artwork that I don't have videos on, on that site. So 
He's got a very amphibian like head. Squint. It's, we're going to be able to see the bottom jaw inside there a bit. Put in that muscle that closes and opens the jaw. I may have mentioned this in other videos, but I do think that the game should have um, Indominus Rex be able to go to a higher level than it is right now. It should be the highest dinosaur, you know? Like they should have it be able to go to level 50 or something. Because <laughs> it's kind of crazy that some of the dinosaurs, like Rajasteka, is almost as powerful as the Indominus Rex. So it's got a lot of teeth, but they're mostly quite small. And now that my YouTube channel is quite anchored down, I'm going to try and get into sort of a routine of when I upload my videos and stuff. So I'm trying to upload them normally on... Saturdays and on Wednesdays. Wednesdays usually I'll upload them more around like 4 o'clock in the afternoon Eastern time just because of school so and sometimes I make the videos like the day before then I upload them just so I have more time So Rajasti has a very thick neck because it's the most bulky of the theropod dinosaurs in the game. It's got a lot of wrinkles, so we can put the wrinkles in like that. It's got short stubby arms. And it appears that its um, hands are webbed. Probably an amphibian trait. Or on its feet, its fingers. Its fingers are webbed. Its feet aren't. But so putting those claws. And then we can put in the other arm which you can yeah its arms are quite small about the size of a t-rex's arms so looks pretty good Got a huge belly and torso. But I definitely like Rajastega better than Rajasaurus. Like Rajasaurus was I didn't I never liked it at all. Or you can call it rage like the gaming beaver does. I see most I assume most of you are familiar with the gaming beaver. He's one of the my favorite person who plays the game on YouTube. If you don't know who it is, who he is, you can look him up. But I'm I'm almost 100 percent sure all of you know who he is. So, so I think it has a few spikes on its back, but very few. They're not very big either. And they're a little bit glitchy because, at least in the pictures I have. They just like sort of stick out. And they don't, there's not many of them. There's. But I'm sort of glad Ludia didn't add that many spikes because sometimes they overdo it a little bit. So we're going to add texture to the slight sail it has.
very similar to Acrocanthosaurus that had a sail that was about a foot high. Not at all like Spinosaurus, but And the scales, or the spikes, are all black. I have forgotten to mention that. I'm color those all in. That looks pretty good for the spikes. I know I'm drawing a little bit slow today. I apologize. I apologize. But on the other hand, some people like it better when I draw slow. This just has normal theropod feet. With that little dew climb. I'm actually going to put this leg in first just so I don't smear this one too badly after I put in detail in it. I'm going to put the padding under the feet. Put scales on top of the, the, the toes. I'm going to put the claws in of the feet. So I'm going to erase the lines we don't need here. I'm going to shade this leg mostly in, but I'm not going to do that yet because I'll, I know I'll smear. So I'm going to put on this, this foot. I just take a, I like, it gets kind of weird when you cross dinosaurs, so they don't look exactly like what real theropods look like. Especially the Superano Titan that has like cankles and stuff. It's kind of weird, but it is creative, so. And that's the whole point of hybrids. Hybrids should look weird, but the Indominus Rex didn't really look like it looked like a dinosaur. If you get what I mean. Like some of these don't look like dinosaurs. So that's good for our second outline and now we'll go for the third and final one in which we will really refine and finish up our drawing. So we'll start with the head and move this way since I don't want to smear. And I might even use a piece of paper to um, make sure. This is another Rajastega I was working on. 
before I did the video, but so we'll put, begin by shading in the areas where there are stripes. Like so, it really makes it look more like Rajasthega when you put in the the stripes. It's going to add a little bit more texture to the decoration there. Might add a few scales, but it's really like more of an amphibian type skin texture. With almost no scale, so it's like a very clean faced dinosaur. Or hybrid, I guess you'd call it. <laughs> And we'll put in the stripes on the bottom of the jaw. It's got a very smooth looking face, so I'll just keep it like that. Because we want to make it look like an amphibian. It's got a lot of wrinkles on the neck, which is not so smooth, but... And if I was to color this, the sail is in purple, so I will maybe darken it a bit. Because the rest of the state is, is more of a yellow color. So stripes are not that dark, they're more of a light color. And they're kind of random. Like there'll be spaces where there are no stripes and spaces where there are a lot. But that all makes it look more organic and not man-made. So Rajas Day was not requested, I just decided to draw it because I hope you guys enjoy it. It's definitely a popular hybrid. And I haven't, I did Quetzalcoatlus a few days ago, but I haven't really done that many amphibians, like true amphibians, like Ostoposaurus is an aquatic, but it's not one of the true amphibians. So I may do like Coolosaurus, maybe, I'm not sure. I'm still deciding on what amphibian I should do in the future because I have a big list of dinosaurs as I already mentioned that I need to do videos on like Carnoraptor, Spinoraptor, Monolophosaurus, Prognathodon, etc. Like a, a lot of them. <laughs> Let me smear it a bit there. So 
I'm just gonna trade this leg in. Most of it. Clean up a bit with my eraser. I like Roger's Stego that it's got very smooth skin and like doesn't have barely any scales on it. Cause it's got this weird type of stripes running up its belly. They're not very dark, they're quite, quite light. I know this is a different angle than I usually do my theropods, but it's always good to go from a different angle because then you learn more. Again, it's not the hardest of drawings, but It appears to have a few skills on the belly, not not that much, not that many. So you can put scales in if you like, just optional. It will make it look more complex and professional, so if that's what you're going at, go ahead and do scales. But. I'm trying to make it look more like the one in the game that does not really have that much, that many scales on it. Like so. That, that looks pretty good. I'll give the leg a little bit more refinement. Even though it does not really cl clearly have scales on it, it does have wrinkles. That looks pretty good. Also, the stripes help um, show you the roundness in the legs and other body parts. I'll shade in this area. Maybe add a few scales. I've, some of my drawings have done well, immense amounts of scales, and it really looked nice, but it took a while, and you can make something look almost as nice without going the full way and putting in every little scale and that way you can do more drawings instead of just doing one big nice one you can have a lot of different dinosaurs so the tail is not very complex it's got a few little stripes going up like that but other than that it's quite simple Tails are usually the most boring part of the dinosaur. And the head is usually the most interesting, interest, interesting part of the dinosaur. Maybe with the Indominus Rex, the whole thing is quite extraordinary. Like each dinosaur is famous for a certain body part. Like T. Rex is the head. The Raptors are the the feet. The Brachiosaurus is from 
the neck is what's famous about it, and so on and so forth. So this is video is coming to a close. I'm just gonna touch up, give our ride a stick of the final little touches. So. Make it look more like ride stick. <laughs> so we can maybe you can put a little bit of ground so it's not just standing in, in midair. And you can sign your picture. And put in the date. So yeah, this is what our level 40 primal rage, as Game Beaver calls it, looks like from Jurassic World, the game level 40. So yeah, please subscribe, like this video, and um, share it, and do whatever you like um, with your drawing. So. Yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Be sure to subscribe right here.